Sorry, dropping a tablet on yourself and, heal. and healing or hitting your elite. That way it explodes the tablet. Okay. Let's do this. Let us do this. Moving on. Going up. Okay. Green on down. Okay. Good job. Ragnar's going up. Two going up. Affliction on me. Right. Going to triangle. Messenger coming towards group. Okay, we're fine. Green two down. Affliction oh. staying here. Oh, I got messenger, so I'm just gonna run in this circle. Uh, bring it over oh. to us. Bring it over to us, Tizing. There's a bomb over there. Oh, oh. 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 Advertising. Can you get him? Maybe. Oh, going nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Okay, yeah, watch nice. out. Uh, Ranger is <laughs> going away. Yeah, pay attention to people's call outs. <laughs> G3 down. Okay. I'm staying. Alright, stack up on boons. Green one going up. Green one down. Going up. All right. Green two down. Perfect. What you leaving? Out of this dip. <coughs> DPS him all the way through. Green three going up. Position yourself. Green three down. Okay. I have affliction. Let's rebound this one. Rebound now. I was four. Re Wait, do you not have rebound? I was really four. Uh, I was, okay, uh, okay. I I'm blowing up. We'll be fine. Green one going up. Okay, look to the center. Okay. Heal yourself, Shanks. You're looking low. Oh. Green one down. Debuff. Perfect. Yo, baby, here you go. Position yourself. Green two is going up. Affliction go out did. towards Squiggle. Towards Squiggle. Oh, I want, I want. Yeah, so if you go in front of him, it's a little sketchy. Oh That's okay, but it's a little sketchy going that direction because you're running in front of the boss. Oh, I see. This will be okay. Green two down. Dip. Good job. Okay, and DPS him through.
Okay, stack. He's gonna do cracks now. Watch the cracks. Up. Cracks are right on him, okay? Stun break, stun break. Okay. Souls, souls. People have soul shackle. Revive. Green three down. Okay, and he's gonna he's dipping in the center. Get your soul, cleanse. Watch out for heart. Okay, careful, don't get close. Green one up. Use mobility to get away from him. Okay, just stay in the pocket. Green one down. Good job, heal up. Off the cracks, off the cracks. This is detrimental if people get feared here. Green two getting ready to go up. There's going to be a messenger coming towards off group. The soul or split. Actually, going it's heading towards there. star. Okay. Green two down. Good job. Stay focused, everyone. Star could use a little bit of healing. I'm leaving the bomb. Off the cone. Don't be on the cracks, guys. Watch your positioning. G3 going up. Heal yourself, Shinx and Natiri. Yep. Shinx is afflicted. I'm going off group. Souls shackles. Look to the center. Look to the center. <gasps> no. G3 down, down. Get that res. Get that res quickly. Get that soul. Alright, I'm ripping. Heal up, guys. Get you your low. Get some barrier. Raiden. Get some heals. Get some heals on Raiden. Green one going up. Alright. Stay focused here. Twenty ten more percent. I'm going to throne. Watch Stay in the pocket. Oh. Green one Get down. that res, get that res. Okay, Shinx, are you ready to get two? Yeah, I'm on nope. it already. Get the... Okay, I I need to get my soul. No! No. Taizing! <laughs> what did you do? I got like, really up. low and then like... And then like... Uh, and then down. And then he oh, dropped his oh, right on me. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm allowing you guys to go for kill. Alright. Everyone spread out. Don't go to the center. Oh my gosh, get away from the center. You have 21 seconds to get oh, it. What the heck? What? what? what you I went got? to the center. You went to the center. Remember, you don't want to go was... into the core. I was so confused there. I all thought right. I had all. Everyone in position. Get in position. Stack up boons. As soon as the ready boons. check starts. Okay. Now, run out. Did we have. Are we having all the sigils covered? Looks like it. Okay, use mobility to get back in. And DPS. What? Oh, we did it. Okay. DPS. If once he goes up again, we have to go out to the same ones immediately. Okay? Just make sure you healed up. Okay, and run out now. I'm back in. He didn't get one sigil to- oh, there it is. Good. Okay. Excellent. Ah, Let's go. Nice. Oh, good <laughs> job, guys. Three days. Oh. Fuck yeah. Three day kill on Doom. Wow. Three days. That was a hard perfect. boss. Ah, okay, so I'm sad. I'm mad at you, Tizing. How dare you go down right before that? How dare you? It was you? on purpose. It just was like 2% to go. I just must like... Uh, just... Oh. <laughs> oh. That makes... That, make that, that almost tarnishes the victory. Almost, okay? All right, we know why Ozzy went down. I mean, Ozzy, uh, unfortunately, he ventured a little too close to the sun. Okay, you know, happens, it happens, but good fucking job, guys. Wow. Go. Uh, there's a chest behind his... Uh, yeah, thing. you guys can, can now start that collection for, is it Confluence, I believe? Oh. Yep. That's okay. 
I have big if questions. If you need the other guys. two chests, let me know. Do you guys I feel like do. you know you? Do you guys have any questions about this counter? Do you feel like you know pretty much how to do everything? Like you understand I have a the counter. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. If you have anything you're not easy about, if it has to do with rolls well, or anything, please let me know. I I want to be able to answer those questions. That's all part of the program. Um, it didn't happen that time, but one of the runs I got feared. Mm -hmm. Why did I get feared? So that's what I'm talking about. Watch for the cracks. The cracks will spawn detonate in five seconds upon like he hits the ground behind you, spawns those cracks. Five seconds after they spawn, they'll actually activate and spikes will come out of the ground in there. If you are standing on the crack, you get feared for like eight seconds. Um, oh, so that's what I was talking about. Watch out on this cracks. Okay. And so uh, that, that's very big. Um, yeah. Uh, so that, that's a big one there. Uh, Shanks, really good job on the kiting nonsense. Really good job. Everyone who has, has been doing a roll and everyone who's learned to roll in here, that's good. Does anyone who hasn't who didn't do any of the roles? Do you guys have a basic understanding of how the roles work now? Have, hopefully, you guys are paying yeah. attention. Yeah, I think I think so. So if I was to be like, "Hey, um, Ragnar, if you have a messenger kite build, you could go ahead and messenger kite, and you can do it, and like die several times trying, but still have a good idea of how to do it." Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. The tanking is the one of the things that. Um, it's doom is actually a very easy boss to tank you just need to know where to stand and when to move uh, but other than that it like take you like take no damage for the most part as long as you're positioned properly did a really good job there ties in um and you know obviously along the way making some mistakes but following it up with questions why did i die here what happened those are the money questions that's what i want to hear and as long as you can come back in the next pull and you know know what to do better i'm happy with that so that's really great um really one second and five on your first doom kill man i don't want to do this preface for a long time <laughs> yeah <laughs> that preface is rough but dude guys you have really consistent on that that is huge go to the uh Please, I... Like I said, my first, the first group I ever did this, when, my, when I went learned Doom, yeah. we spent over, I'd say we put over 50 hours into Doom um, learning it. That's crazy. So we spent about two months learning Doom with like two sessions a, a, a week. So, you know, being able to condense this down and get this kill with a group of, of like pretty much all new raiders that you started with... Um, you know, to get this doom kill in three three days, that's fucking that's sick. That's sick. So, um, if you got looking back on this uh, this training and this kill, what do you think helped the most, and what do you think uh, I guess helped the least or had the least impact on this uh, victory here? I think I think the first day was super helpful, so that like everyone got greens down. So yeah. then like. After that, the greens were a lot easier for me, I feel yeah, like, because like we spent the whole day on them. Yeah, especially people who have to, like, run out to those greens often to, like, into them constantly is... Yeah. Just, like, get used to it a little bit is nice. Yeah. That's good. Um, anything else? I like that um, we had really good communication, like, calling out greens and afflictions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and here's the thing. That's a luxury you're not going to have when you join pug groups. Um, so when you join pug groups, it's obviously going gonna, gonna to be on you to know what you're doing and be aware of that shit. I hope a lot of you guys were kind of paying attention to the different timings and when it was happening. I purposely didn't run a Doom timer on this one um, so that you guys were forced to look at the clock um, and know when you were supposed to do stuff. Uh, that's a big one. Um, does... Do you guys know? Do you guys know like the phases of when everything starts to happen? The new mechanics, when Doom starts layering on the new mechanics. Um, I wouldn't know like the times for them, but like I knew when it would happen based yeah. on like where I was yeah. in the raid. Especially because I was doing green every time, mm -hmm. like yeah. I would know when he's gonna do the greater based on when I come down from the green. You know? Yeah, same. Yeah. That's what I. That's what helped me. I think with them. So what's gonna be helping moving forward? is memorizing when certain mechanics will start happening and so the first one like we experienced the first one that is going to be tied to a clock is going to be your affliction that starts at nine minutes flat okay um after that 
uh, Doom spawns at 8 minutes. Okay, so you know how to gauge yourself. You know when to start looking out for afflictions and when you need to stack and be ready for Doom. He'll always spawn at 8 minutes. Affliction will always start at eight, uh, at 9. Um, the next thing that you look forward to to phase is the 60% mark. At 60%, He's going to start. Um, he's going to start the soul shackles, which you guys did a very good job with. I don't think we lost anyone to soul shackles today, so that's huge. Uh, I guess when it came to dealing soul shackles when you first got it, what was the main? What was the first thing that you noticed that you realized you had soul shackles? Yellow border. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, raiding has trained me to fear that yellow border, so it's terribly. Yeah. Pretty, yeah, that's good. <laughs> I Every time I see that, I panic a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've been hoping to like condition you guys to get into, because I can be <laughs> completely honest. They're the majority of the raid community. I'd say probably only, uh, I'd probably say like a ninety percent of the raid community actually knows what that yellow border means or actually pays attention to it. Um, hundred percent, yeah. No, it is. It goes overlooked all the time. Like I've even ran into training commanders who didn't even know about it. Um, and so if you if you are constantly looking at that looking for that um you will it'll it'll help you out so much in the raids in the future doom is one of the omega bosses that you got it's an incredible uh, yeah it's an incredible victory to beat him but now that you're done with him um going back going and doing like qtp q1 uh sabir um you know lagos all of those bosses you're going to see these mechanics these fundamental mechanics appear um and you will be able to you'll know hey i gotta do something here so that's really good so soul shackles happens at 60 percent after that the next big thing you're going to notice is at 30 percent and that is that cone attack where he does that reaper great sword five um i didn't see anyone get down to that or even take damage from it you guys handle that really well um so that's that then after that 30 cent percent mark 10 percent and that's the death phase at the death phase he the clock resets to minute 45 and you have a minute 45 to get him killed okay so it doesn't matter if you're hitting that enrage timer um at like you're a second away and he's at he gets to 10 percent it'll reset and allow you to still have that one minute and 45 seconds to kill him so, um, un other than that, Doom does have a hard enrage timer. So if you hit enrage, you just die. Okay. So is that if it hits zero or? Huh? Yeah. If, if, it, if, if the, like timer the timer hits timer zero. zero. Mm -hmm. But you want to get him to ten percent before that happens, you'll be good to go. That pull actually was probably one of our best DPS wise because we had him down to thirty. I want to say we had him down to like thirty percent between Square and Star here. Yeah, I definitely wasn't, I was so confused because I went up for my last greens and like I thought I got the last one and came down but I literally instantly went back up and I was so confused. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, so that's good. Um, moving forward, you know, and honestly, here's the thing. We ran this again with one healer, so that's actually, that that's really good too. It, al it also allowed us to hit, uh, get the DPS check a little better. Uh, looking at the boons, actually... Um, I mean, we were averaging like 15 might. Um, Fury wasn't too, wasn't capped. Um, you know, quickness was kind of a little all over the place, but that's expected. It's doom. Uh, alacrity was around that 60%. So uh, definitely, you know, optimizing to get better boon up times and things like that. Um, work on your DPS is only going to make this encounter easier for you guys. I'd say as a group, you guys clear this boss on a weekly basis if you wanted to, um, because of how consistent and how good the communication was developed tonight. So, good job, guys. Very proud of you. Um, I'd be down. Imagine we do a Doom warm-up every week. We'd be such <laughs> oh, <insane> God. <laughs> <laughs> you would be so good at it by... <laughs> Well, um, and that's the thing. It's like, I'm, I'm honestly, like, hopefully, guys, like, the goal here is to, you know, put get you guys together so you're writing and you're hopefully creating some good team synergy together. Um, that way, you, once we've completed all our goals together as a training team, you have the option to continue as a static or go form your own statics and whatnot. But at that point, you know, 
you guys can decide to, you know, continue as a group and, uh, you know, continue full clearing or trying to do other things. Maybe you want to start speed running, um, doing whatever, you know, that'd be, that'd be good. So, um, if that develops and you guys want to run that, that would be amazing. Um, but you know, that's the point of, uh, us trying to run the, like start you guys off in these statics. So you have that opportunity to grow with a group like that. Um, cause a lot of times what happens when people create statics is they'll just find people like, you know, hey, we need a druid, they get this druid, and they're like, he seems cool, boom, he can play a druid, and then, you know, but it's like they, they're starting off, you know, uh, with no, no like, there's Not no, no connection, other. yeah, there's no synergy built off, and so it's purely just everyone's interaction, they just get together solely to raid, and nothing else, you know, so, um, you know, we, we look at that and see that that's one of the, that's one of the big reasons why statics are always always break up you know so um we're gonna see about you know giving them a fight uh, more of a fighting chance this way so that's good also um wipe uh because you know it's like also i've told you guys you guys are my guinea pigs i've been testing a lot of methods and training methods on you guys um we have creating an actual wipe standard here and um we i am looking uh, we are basically what we are going to be doing uh, moving forward. We are going to be starting a commander training program, um, and the goal is to start training people who want to be commanders or want to improve their commanding, so they can lead their own statics, uh, so they can lead stuff in the LFG, um, because we want to help create more opportunities in the LFG and get people that aren't able to commit to statics like you are to be able to still have an opportunity to get into raiding in this game, so they don't give it a bad rap and they get experience.